All right, we're back in Forza More Sports, and we are in the McLaren P1 in the uh, Rio Legends series. Oh God. As you can see, it is kind of the OP car here. Oops. I did a quick, uh, quick little setup here, but it is pretty decent. At the end of the race, I will show the setup for this car. So if you're looking for that, stick around uh, at the end of the video. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be the fastest straight line speed, but that's fine by me. Okay, all right. Braking's not the best. Okay, well, we got the same one as this guy, so. Uh, by the way, we uh, are using a controller just because uh, these cars are a little hard to handle on the wheel and be competitive. So we have a quick little setup here, but it's still pretty decent. I mean, I feel like the spider would be like the the better one, but but it doesn't allow you to split the differential. You kind of just have to deal with the front and rear diff or front and rear power split, however it is set up originally in the. Porsche, so. No. Little under Siri. Go put a little bit more towards the rear diff. Yeah, the car in front has really good overall straight line speed there. Yeah, a little bit off track there. Yeah, a, little, a lot more penalty than I thought I was going to get, to be honest. I still think you can get on podium pretty easily though.
Uh, maybe not. Jeez. These all have pretty good. Excuse me. They all have pretty good overall uh, top speed here. So maybe we should have not done the rear wing since we could have. Uh, We had the, uh, the ability to split the rear. We might have not had to actually put the rear wing on for the downforce. Hopefully second and third. Oh, I don't know what happened here, but we're now in third. Podium by disconnect. I'll take it. Now I wanted to take the podium. The tune I'll share at the end is going to be the modified one where I fix the understeer problem a bit so it should be a little quicker than this one modify it to your own specific taste as well since it'll be uh, just open source one Those other ones were really quick in a straight line, that's for sure. I still would say that the McLaren P1 is probably one of the better ones for these races. The Spire just, um, too much power to the rear wheels. It doesn't have enough differential to the front, so it gets real, real tap, tail happy otherwise. But, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day. All right, so I modified the tune a little bit, but uh, here's the tune for the McLaren P1. Uh, 27.5 front and rear tire pressures. Um, look at the gears here. My alignment, uh, negative 1.4 for front and rear camber, zero toe. 7.0 for front caster, anti roll, roll bar 38.0 front, 40 rear. Um, you could lower that all the way down to one. I know a lot of people like doing that for front wheel drive. So, all really depends on your uh, preference. Um, front spring 623.6, rear 705. Two. You might have to crank that up a little bit more on some bumpy tracks because it uh, does compress a lot. And then uh, front bump 2.3, rear 2.6. Might need to bump that up on some uh, bumpier tracks as well. Um, rear rebound stiffness 11.7. Or sorry, front rebound stiffness. 11.7 uh, in rear 11.3 roll center 9.8 both anti geometry percentage dive 19.4 so it's unchanged from uh, stock and then uh, downforce you can definitely mess around with this depending on what you like brake balance as well just 
your preference. I don't really like a lot of rear brake balance, but I know it can definitely give you some better braking if you do that. And acceleration for the differential, 100% in the front, 65 in the rear, center balance, 70 to the rear. And that should be updated. It should be a pretty good handling car. Pretty good at uh, most tracks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day.